If I lived in the abyss, in the depth of the sea, it would be dark. 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 Just some strange, luminescent creatures and elephant seals. <laughs> I can dive 4,000 feet underwater, and I can slow down my heartbeat and hold my breath for two hours. Oh, oh, I have to go back. I have to go back to the harem on the beach. In September, wherever they are in the ocean, living their solitary lives, elephant seals navigate back to the shores where they were born. I traveled to one of these shores, Peninsula Valdez, in Argentinian Patagonia, to see for myself and meet biologist oh, okay. Claudio Campagna, who has studied elephant seals yeah, yeah, for the past yeah. 30 years. This is what I saw. Big, fat bodies lying around the beach as if asleep the gravity of the earth pulling down on their bodies. But Claudio explained that they do not lie around randomly. There is a geometry, a specific design to their placement. They are harems. The dominant male places himself in the middle of a cluster of females and their pups. Other males are peripheral to the harem, broadcasting their strength and beauty. Waiting, 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 waiting and hoping. <sighs> waiting, waiting, waiting for their chance to mate. The females come ashore after eight months gestation to the beach where they were born. After some contractions, some twists and sway of the tail, she gives birth to a single pup. For the next three weeks, she will exclusively take care of the baby, never going out at sea for food while the baby will grow from 90 pounds to 350 pounds. Once the babies are weaned, they hang out on the beach with each other. To establish dominance and access to the female, males engage in terrible battles. <laughs> The defeated male wounded stays at the periphery of the harem, alone. You have a, a peripheral male that is going to search for that female. So we have to move this way. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. He was, he was for, her, for her. She's not worried about us. But even wounded, he will chase any female trampling anything in his way Sometimes these females deserve to be punished. Where are you going? I'll pin you down. Stay put in the harem. Why are you trying to get out at sea? Stay put. No males want females to go out at sea. They want them on the beach, under their watch. Babies get separated from their mothers and could get lost. And if so, they starve to death. Males try to mate at any opportunity. Females don't want to mate, unless it's in the two days they are in estrus. How can the male mate with a female without squashing her? Sorry, her vagina is down here. The male is here. The vagina would be right there. The, 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 the opening of the, of the genitals of the male are quite... And the, and the head is where? If this is the body, this is the head, this is the tail, 
And then I saw it. A slow, surprisingly gentle affair. So tranquil and quiet. It might even be boring. But still, a 6,000 pound husband. Where is she going? Whoa. Ah, I don't care now. I've impregnated her. Finally, alone at sea. Water, 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 and food. After four weeks of fasting, the fertilized egg in my womb, I want to stop it from developing any further. I want to eat, 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 and gain weight and get rid of this old skin. I'll molt and have a new skin. Back at sea, I am ready to let my baby grow inside me. In eight months, I will go back to the harem on the beach where I was born and where I will give birth to my baby. Ghost nets, discarded by fisheries, floating in the ocean. 